image to 3D just got a lot simpler with Bamboo Labs Maker Lab. So today I'm going to jump in and we're going to show how to take a static image and create a 3D model. We are in Maker Lab and we're going to scroll down to image to 3D. And there's been some updates to this and it's gotten quite a bit better over the last little bit. So we are going to upload a new image that I just created. And it works best if you have something with a white background already or an image that's been cut out. And if you don't have that image, you can actually give an image to ChatGPT or to basically any good AI service right now and have them remove the background for you. In this case, we're gonna hit generate and wait for our model to show up. After about five minutes, we have our model. So here is what it looks like. Did a pretty dang good job creating this. So the next step, um, if we like this, we can go ahead and export it, which is great. There are some options down here, so we can just put it, and this is very similar to what it's gonna look like if you just print it in one color um, versus all your colors. Um, and then there's even the option to uh, just go with what's been pre-colored. Um, okay. Next step, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna export this. And you're gonna see, hey, it costs $2, or sorry, costs two credits to generate this. And there are ways to get more credits that we can look at. We can use points that we've already built up and go ahead and buy additional credits. So for 10 of... Uh, my little gold coins here, I can buy 100 credits, 50 downloads, which is pretty great. Um, okay, come back. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say confirm. And now we get to choose what printer we are designing this for and the nozzle. So you can select from all of the printers. I am printing this one on a P1S. My nozzle size is four millimeter and hit confirm. The next step, it's going to ask me what type of file format do I want to use? We can go with an STL, a 3MF, um, or a GLB. I've only done the 3MF so far, so I'm gonna stick with that. I really like that this comes in with your coloring options and we're gonna go with that. So we're gonna say download your 3MF. Okay, just like that, here is the 3D model that I sent in. And this is all colored. so. A couple things to pay attention to is um, you may have way more colors here than you have spots uh, available if you're not printing in seven colors. So we may have to simplify these models down a little bit if I want to print in full color. And you can do that just by removing some of these uh, just additional. And I'm gonna drop this down to a four colors. Um, and then I'm gonna have to work with this and work with our colors to make this work for my specific needs. But you can see, hey, I've got four colors. And as I reduce them, it just kind of simplified the model a little bit. That's what it's gonna do for you. So I can go ahead and look over my settings. Um, comes in as your standard um, presets and you can go ahead and look at your strengths or your speed or whatever settings that you want to change for your printer and go ahead and slice it. Okay. And at this point we are, we're done. I can go ahead, hit print, select, make sure my colors are all lined up and move on from there. Now, one thing to keep in mind, um, when I download this as a 3MF file, it brought in all the colors. If I downloaded this as the basic STL, it would come in just as a single color. Now I can convert this into a single color really quickly if I just wanted to, to print it in that way. Uh, the easiest way I've found to do that, select your object and then go to color painting and just erase all painting, just like that. And now we are back to a single, color. Just like that. All right. Um, let me know down in the comments what you thought about this video. This tool only keeps getting better. And there's some really, really cool stuff coming out in the next few months when I was looking at the roadmap. Make sure to give us a like, 
or even subscribe if you found this helpful. And we'll see you next time.